I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope forecast for you, Gemini, for the week of November the 14th. Now, right in the start of the week, we've got a full moon. It's in the sign directly before your sign. So this is great because it really gets you thinking about um, where you are, where you want to be, how you're going to get there. Uh, and it heightens your intuitiveness as well. So you want to pay attention to your instincts. If it feels right it probably is <clears throat> excuse me if it doesn't feel right it probably isn't okay so pay attention to that now neptune in your area of career is a fabulous position for you in your career because it really is about inspiration um imagination and just sort of really putting your thoughts out there to be a little bit idealistic and I love being idealistic because I think it's a great place to start with your dreams hopes and wishes then you can start to modify and, and compromise but it's you know you want to start on the best possible situation and then you can work on that now there are a couple of aspects with Neptune this week and Neptune's going to come out of its retrograde transit at the end of the week too so there's a lot of energy with this planet of inspiration and imagination um, now first of all we do have a square with Neptune and Mercury um, for you Mercury is in your area of relationships so you want to be careful that you're not butting heads um, with somebody at work and to do with a work situation and if you are then s certainly try to get the facts right okay because let's not forget that anything to do with um, uh, with uh, Neptune is you want to get the facts and not f fiction so you may have to work a little bit harder to prove your point to say listen this is the way that it is was or going to be but it's, so there's a square so it can be a little challenging but then we do have a um, positive aspect between Venus and Neptune okay directly after towards the end of the week so that does indicate that whatever's going on in that area um, of your life it can come um, result in a positive financial situation and and people can come together because let's not forget Venus rule is a rule of love and money you know just to put it down to two words uh, and you know relationships but with, with the sextile it's like an opportunity now it's in your eighth house so it's like it's it's money that you're not necessarily in control of but it does indicate that there's a positive result and it comes after that square so it sounds like there's a little bit of haggling going on and then it can come through um, so in that sense it's you know very positive right at the start of the week there's uh, Mars and um, uh, Mercury in a sextile another opportunity so it's like your greatest hopes dreams and wishes can come through and in um, suddenly too okay not quite in the way perhaps that you expect but a situation that you have wanted to uh, work out can suddenly take a turn for the better and come through even if it is a little bit different than what you first imagined so all in all I see this as a positive week I hope so I hope something fabulous comes through and if you've been waiting on um, you know something then uh, there's a good indication that you can get some closure about it this week okay hope so bye for now see you next week